Hey everyone, welcome back to Ayaz Tech. Today we are diving into wonderful world of Tailwind CSS. And I will show you how to add custom CSS to your Tailwind CSS project. So let's get started. Tailwind CSS is a utility first CSS framework that provides a lot of classes to help speed up the development process. But sometimes you might find that you need to add your own custom CSS to tailor your designs even further. So that's what we are tackling today. First, let's make sure you have a Tailwind project ready. If not, you can easily set one up using the documentation or you can also watch my previous videos where I already have shown you how to set it up. So for our demo, I already have set up a very basic Tailwind CSS project that has nothing but HTML file, input CSS file and a package.json where we have Tailwind CSS is added as dependency and we have a simple script that will execute the Tailwind CSS in wash mode. Also, other than that, we have a basic Tailwind CSS configuration file and this is how it will look like in my browser right now. Next, we will understand the layer directive. This layer directive lets you keep your custom styles co-located with your Tailwind utility classes, ensuring that they get purged and optimized properly. So go to your main uh, in input.css file and add your first layer and give it a name, uh, use the components. And in the component, we will define our first layer component with the name BTN blue. And then we can add different styles here like background color blue or something like that. Color white padding 0 0.5 REM 1 REM and border radius. 0.25 so whatever you want to add to style there is another approach is that instead of writing styles directly you can use tailwind css here as well by using apply keyword so bg blue will add the blue color and text white will add the white style p let's try this one so you can add padding as well and further we can add the border radius as well just add rounded and remove this one now this button blue class is our custom style and by placing it within the layer components block tailwind knows how to process it now let's try to use it i will copy the name go to the index.html and here i will add that class we did not start it yet so run the command npm run we need to run this one okay npm run run press enter now you can see that there is a style in my text so i added the text black that's why it was not following the style that we added in the button blue but now you can see that the text color and background color and border radius is coming from the custom class that we made here and we have added custom styles here as well so other than that, you can add global styles as well. So you can also add global styles outside of the any layer directive. This is useful. This is useful for broad styling changes like custom fonts or base element styles. So for example, maybe you want to add body, font, family, and my custom font, whatever the name of font is, and add sans serif as well in this way, you can add it. However, remember that these styles will not be subject to the utility-based optimizations that Tailwind performs. So use them carefully. After that, if you want to extend Tailwind's default set, rather than create entirely new styles, you can do so in the tailwind.config.js file. So let's open that file. Here in the extend block, I will add background color and I will pass an object to this property. And here I will add the custom background color that you can give it any name like custom blue, for example. 3, 2, 5D or whatever color code you prefer. It's up to you. Now let's use uh, this custom blue property. To use it, open your HTML and I'm going to remove it. And instead of that, I will add, uh, make sure to prefix it with the BG. You can see the class that we added in the configuration is visible in the suggestions as well. Now you can see that it is working perfectly fine. 
All right, now you know how to add custom components using the layer directive, inject global styles, and extend Tailwind's default configuration. Remember to always check Tailwind's documentation and updates as the framework is constantly evolving and new features are regularly added. So if you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. If you have any questions or need further clarification, then drop a comment below. I will see you in the next one.